Alrighty, quick, quick, quick return. Here I am again and continuing. I uh, took a moment to start actually uploading the various videos that I've made so far. Um, I kind of want this one to just all be out in one uh, group. But <clears throat> gotta thank YouTube for its policy on taking as long as possible. Anyway, we're in this Bailey. We gotta figure out what the fuck to do. So far, so good though. No complaints. Um, shatter, not shatter. The uh, le rapid deconstruction is proving very useful. Let's go ahead and animate dead to try and get some benefit off of having killed something on that island. Uh, I still don't have any real means of speed, but I do have the control teleport ring so I can always get myself back to the door in a pinch as long as I survive the first hit or two. Um, do I? I don't think I ever memorized stone skin, so let's go ahead and now that my, my earth magic is so bloody high. Let's go ahead and see what that does for me exactly. AC goes up to 13. That's very reasonable. We got a second doorway out, so now I actually have options, not just theoretically. My AC is still 13. I am up against a couple enemies. I can, from this position, actually peg that one with uh, rapid deconstruction. So let's do that. Got him. Take the step necessary to start pegging these guys. I swear to god, this guy just appeared from nowhere. I, I, I didn't even see him on the screen. If he was there, he just was at melee range somehow. Uh, okay, this is definitely a rapid deconstruction position. Uh, let's see, if I take a step back... Uh, yeah, that's perfect. I, I, can st I can still see the stone, they can't see me. Let's let's re re rapidly deconstruct a couple times. One more time, and that should be enough weakening for me to approach and just finish him with an actual spell. Or he's already dead, so... Must have missed the message where I got credit for killing him off-screen. <sighs> Drop the rotting chunks, and that should give you enough mana to finish with the good ones. Definitely a bad situation, because I'm so low on mana. Um, I could pain him to death. Let's actually back away and force him off the water. At least try to force him off the water. Actually, you know what? Charging him at the water's edge makes even more sense. There we go. So Stone Skin takes my AC from 8 to 13. I don't know what the factor or the scaling is, but plus 5 AC for a spell that I have to keep using isn't that great, but it's also kinda sorta not costing me anything, and assuming that it helps stack my guaranteed damage reduction, which I really don't know it does, but I think it might, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing to have. It's also two spell levels and I'm not using any of them, so there's really no harm in hanging onto it. Okay. Raise the dead and let's approach the main island. But I, I do have more than a little bit of apprehension as, as I come here. Um, there's no reason whatsoever to think this is safe. Like, at all. Any enemy that was hiding inside here would not have come out. There we go. And most likely one of them is going to be an orcish warlord of some kind. Uh, skin, stone skin, back up. The walls are thick enough that I can tell that this opening chamber is relatively safe, so I'm going to open the door. Okay. Scroll of Acquirement, times two, apparently. Either that or I had one of this time and didn't realize it. There is still more inside, and I can't see what. So what I'm going to do is back away far enough that I won't be hit by it and rapidly deconstruct the door. None of those enemies are particularly impossible for me to kill. So I'm going to go ahead and open with a few stone splashes and see just how much damage I can do. Okay. Resurrect. Definitely a necess necessity. I'm going to hang on to the mana that I... or yeah, the mana that I have right now. Um, you know, it would have been great is for him to be in the water, but whatever. Definitely a situation where I want to eat more than I want anything else. 
Altar of Baal is here. All of those side chambers still need to be explored. So let's take a stab at one of them. Whatever was in there died miserably. Um, yeah, my, my impression is that there's probably one enemy in each. Actually, probably what's going on is there's these invisible doors that allow me to access them from the outside. But to hell with that, nuts to that, I'm just going to blast them from, from here. And there you go, you feel a bit more experienced, indeed. And there we go. Something there ought to have done some damage, and yup, indeed. Okay, 13 hell or 13 mana. I'm gonna just go ahead and whip you over the water to electrocute you to death. And there we go. It's all completed. Um, two scrolls of acquirement definitely worth having. Stone skin to reduce the damage I take as I approach, but I will just approach and then drain you to death. Sack you to Machleb, which I should, by the way, be at really good piety levels with right now, like near max. This is one of my my beefs with the gods that don't give go uh, gifts. If you're at max piety, gaining piety, I mean, it's a lose lose situation. You stay stuck at near max piety until you need them. Then you use them up and have nowhere to get it back. Okay, let's review. Two scrolls of acquirement, definitely a plus. Bunch of experience gained, kind of a plus. Um, shields is still not trainable. Huh. How much am I... I really want to bring my shield skill up a lot, actually. Uh, that, that will end up making everything else easier for me. I don't want to use acquirement on a book. I want to get a book the easy way. I don't want to get it the hard way. I don't need gold. I could definitely use some better armor. At this point, I'm literally... Actually, are there gloves or boots that I've missed? There is a pair of gloves that I missed somewhere. There are no boots. Let's go get those gloves. Um, but, uh... Yeah, let's go get the gloves. Let's go get the gloves. But yeah, I have no intention of spending the scrolls of requirement right now. There's no allies to be had for that fight. Oh, there he is. Um, okay, I don't like how unreliable this this spell is for when it comes to opening stuffs, doors and the like, or blowing up walls. Hmm. I'm not sure how I missed that. I must have been in a rush. Let's go ahead and stone skin before the fight, just to make sure I don't die or take any damage. <sighs> Gloves. I bolstered my AC by one. I can take that. Again, I still have the armor fits poorly mutation. Once I get rid of that, my AC is going to go way up. Which actually would make a cure mutation kind of awesome. Of course, it's not anywhere to be found. I do need resist poison. You know what? I actually might just blow a scroll of acquirement on armor and see what I get. With any luck, it'll be something nice. Well, it's something at least. It's a cap. And apparently I can't wear caps. Oh, I can. And it's a minus one cap. I used a scroll of acquirement, and you gave me a minus one cap. I am very pissed off right now. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, Scrolls of Acquirement, they're supposed to screw you over because you don't get exactly what you want. Or you can't, you know, or what you get is not quite useful for you. Or you already have something a little better. <coughs> what they're not supposed to do is give you negative stuff. I mean, it is a, an Acquirement scroll after all. It's, ugh. I can't use this even if I want to. The only... You know what? Fuck it all. I'm not I'm not even gonna think about it. It'll just make me more pissed off, and that's not gonna help. You know what? Undead bastard. Dispel.
Let's see what they gave me here. Ice, 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 call imp, summon scorpions. How's the summon scorpions? Useless, go figure. Call imp should be reliable. Nope, it's poor. Again, this is probably because my shield skill is so low. Um, but I, I, I will be investing the energy it takes to bring this up to snuff because I do want to have some capability of summoning at least butterflies for my own protection. So let's go ahead and start pouring experience into summoning and disable uh, traps and doors for now. Yeah, I'll deal without. I'll, I'll take the added risk of the traps for now. Alrighty, let's see. See, I'm doing good. I already have begun to forget that I got a minus one cap. Oh, you know what? There we go. That's much better. <laughs> Probably later on in the game, I'm gonna do a search for scroll of acquirement and I'm gonna find that item. <laughs> the reason I'm hanging on to my scroll of acquirement for the time being is I'm waiting until I, I hit a point where I, I need it again. Um, I'm, I'm willing to continue with just the, the materials that I currently have and see what happens. Because for all I am bitching and complaining a lot, and I have some reason to, don't get me wrong, I'm not being unreasonable. The truth is I'm actually quite, I'm doing quite well overall. Let's lose one of the disintegrate wands. Two is too many. And drop a whole bunch of ogre flesh. And heck, drop a couple bread rations too. Oh, an armor shop. Hopefully they'll have something I can make use of. It's like a minus one cap. I'm still not getting off that. Oh, Christ. I keep forgetting you can't use pain against spores. I'm just used to my... my uh, ZA automatically being a good single target spell like magic thingy. <laughs> okay. Nothing useful. Go figure. Um, my plus three leather armor is probably better, but I will go ahead and buy the armor just in case it's something useful. Cold resist. Uh, does reduce my overall AC by quite a bit, but uh, by like two, but I'll take that for now. Stop attacking, please. Wait till there's an army. Now go ahead and attack. You seriously all put together can't beat this guy? Wow. That was not a uh, winning battle at all. So, floor 12. Completely cleared the lair, completely cleared the orcish mines. And no poison resist. Almost makes me want to. I guess I can do the hive, but they usually don't have so much in terms of uh, items as they do in terms of food there. The spell undead will shit all over that mummy, but I'd rather try and avoid the death curses. Okay, I'll just take the curse then, thank you very much. Do I have extra scrolls of remove curse? I actually am at a premium for even my scrolls of remove curse. That's how bad my, my run is going. But I'm totally going to use it because I do need to be able to switch uh, that ring with a little bit of utility for seeing invisible purposes. I guess I'll make one more floor attempt and then back off because I'm getting to a point where I'm pretty soon going to be up against foes more dangerous than I can easily tolerate. <coughs> this guy I shouldn't have a problem with. My necromancy is so high that pain is a very dangerous spell right now. In fact, I think it's max power-wise. Yeah, it is. 
Uh, let's turn off necromancy for a while to make sure that I can get summonings to a decent point. No, back off. Just back off. Actually, do I dare attempt? Yes, I do. Let's go ahead and try and Lee's Rapid Deconstruct this corner often enough to kill the Aqua plant from range. <coughs> Out of mana. And it's at full health, so yeah, that plan just completely failed. Okay, healed up. Smashed by another trap. These traps are really doing a number on me. Um, I'll just wait up. I'll wait though, because there should be a chance to drain something fairly soon. And I'm at still at 80 plus health. Take a different stairway down. I'm not so worried about your ass. Okay, it's time. Summonings goes off, Earth Magic goes off. Put all power to the shields. <clears throat> bringing shields to a reasonable level should bring all of these spells up to reasonable levels of castability. Unaffected by Dispel Undead, because you're not undead, you're demonic. But the whip should- you know what? I have stone arrow, I gotta remember that. I can- or stone shard, or stone hurl, or I use stones to kill people, whatever the hell it's called. I don't remember to use that more. Oh, Christ. Crap stick. There, you happy now? Everything's dead. And I have to try another staircase. Because there's a fucking troll waiting there. And... This is not much better. Well, I guess I can still one-shot these guys, so there's something. Let's go ahead and go upstairs, though. No need to fight more than you absolutely have to all at once. Uh, yeah, we're totally gonna eat a meat ration right now. Um, and how many potions or restore abilities am I hanging on to? Several. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> Any good spells I've forgotten that I need? No. Yeah, no, nothing. Um, well, I can try that other staircase again. Yeah, let's draw the troll up with me. One-on-one, -on -one, I don't mind fighting trolls. I'm gonna put one of these on him. Oh, but it's a herd of centaurs. No, I was about to say a horde, but I guess it's a herd. Let's, uh, stone skin. And lesser ser servant of Machleb. I have no AoE damage, I have no um, mephitic cloud, otherwise this would be an easy fight. But if I just charge right in there, I should be able to take them all out. Let's pain, let's pain from a distance, and then just start doing this one-on-one -on -one to drain them to death. And actually, you know, while I'm here, let's go ahead and res them so that they become my allies. Okay. Again. You know what is occurring to me is that I still haven't recovered the int damage that I've taken over time, and I'm starting to wonder if I will recover the, that, or if no regeneration includes that, in which case my potions of restore abilities take on a whole new level of importance. I'd say that if you're, you know, just based on this, I'd say if you were going to play a Deep Dwarf, you'd probably be better off playing a... Uh, a vampire. Sure, you lose the damage shaving, but you gain so much. Let's 
Let's bring you upstairs and just start draining you. And you're not going to be resurrectable. Drain, drain, drain. Die. Blast. Run, draw, drain, drain. Rock. Draw you up. Drain, 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 drain. Rock. Sure enough, just a little bit of shield buffing. My imps are already up to fair. Troll killed, but apparently my centaur has died over time. It's fine. Heh. Interesting. Let's see if he's dumb enough to stand still that whole time. Pain, pain, uh, stone, drain, 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 drain. Drain, 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 drain. Draw you upstairs, didn't work. Fuck. Let's at least make sure you, you didn't targeted the wrong square, so instead of getting mana back, got fucked. Let's teleport. I don't want to die. I worked way too hard to die here. Even a short distance teleport is enough. I just need my mana back. I'm gonna enjoy draining you. Jerk. Oh yeah, this is totally disconnected. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna dig our way across. Should have a digging, right? Yeah, good. I want another avenue of approach. Um... Yeah, but knowing what I do, I'm all of a sudden a lot less concerned about getting my necromancy up now because Ultimately, Haunt is going to be a really bad idea if I'm taking these permanent losses to my ability to regenerate. I mean, my, my stats from being sick. And raiding the Hive seems like a really good idea, because being able to get back that health... Oh, fuck. That Centaur, that Centaur Captain or whatever he is, is going to be the death of me. Zombie Hydras I'm not so concerned about. In fact, I'm going to intentionally draw you towards me so I can start dispelling undead on your ass. Okay, or you could just drop out of sight. There we go. Now you're dead. The thing is, I really want that ring. What would be the best way for me to fight that centaur? It would be for me to shout now, to get his attention, shout, there we go, and then hide, and then just pounce him. That was very sophisticated on my part. I'm going to go ahead and just not get a hand cramp jerking myself off. I'm that proud of myself for having thought that one through. Oh, fuck. See, I, I, I did that right. I even, I even stopped to like, um, use the correct spell, but I just missed the one time I needed to hit. And then my zombie got pounced on. Whatever though, it's all good. It's all good. At least I caught this before it grew too big. A new wand of digging will suit me well. Let's go ahead and see what my prize is, that ring that I worked so hard for. Crow really hates me today. It gave me a life protection ring. The fuck am I gonna do with a life protection? Oh my god. Plus 12 plus 1 spear ain't a bad spear at all. Elect bonus for bonus damage with a level of resist cold. That's actually a really good alternative to my plus 6 plus 6 whip. Um, let's see what the inherent bonuses are. 2 and 6 versus 4 and 7.
Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm probably just gonna switch the spear. This is why I haven't leveled either of my, my weapon abilities. I don't use a weapon primarily, but... But as a rule, if I had to pick one of them, now I know which one is the better one. It's also why I didn't spend a uh, identify scroll on it sooner, because it's not relevant. Having this weapon is just an extra means of dealing damage. It's not meant to be a primary. Okay, my ally went off in the opposite direction, leaving me to die. So, fuck you very much. Um, you guys can all stop attacking now. You've already failed me. Just let me at least drain him once. There we go. A couple drains is nice. Back up to near full health. And I need to eat this, so let's go ahead and do that. I have a couple ones of digging. I'm gonna see invisible. I'm actually just gonna drop... Well, no, no. Hang on to it. In a pinch. Utility and all that good stuff. You know, I, I, can, I can envision a scenario in which I'd be happy I had that ring. I'm gonna drop this lower level leather armor in favor of keeping my current icy one. Oh! Apparently I've been hit all this time, I didn't even notice. Let's go ahead and switch to this guy so I can start draining my target. He is not an undead. He is very resistant to pain that I can inflict. But he eventually dies. You know what would be great is finding a weapon, a pain branded weapon. Because my necromancy is high enough, that would be devastating. Shield skill is also coming up well as well. I'm too afraid to attempt the snake pits without poison resistance. But it's becoming abundantly clear that I may have to very soon. Let's go ahead and just go upstairs and risk the. Uh, Acid splashing. Okay, you know what? You're not taking damage, so let's just hit you with an ordinary conjuration. There we go. Okay. Shields are still good. Drain, drain. I'm really running on empty at this point in terms of... Oh my god, what lousy fucking luck. It took a teleporter and then ended up behind me. Still, it's times like this that I'm very grateful for the spell that I'm currently using. Namely, Dispel Undead. I'm very hungry. Let's just eat a banana before I end up starved. Okay, it sees me, which means any minute now it's going to come for me, so let's let it do that. And in the meantime, we'll just beat it to death. There, now she sees me. Um, I'm too low on mana, unfortunately, to do anything reliably. Let's get an imp to try and hold her off a little bit longer. Actually, she's coming for me, so... I really should eat something quick, like a honeycomb. Shouldn't take more than one turn. And then start stabbing her. And draining her and stabbing her and beating her up. And she disappeared? The fuck does that even mean? I can see invisible, so she didn't actually disappear. Piece of crap, I was about to kill you. Drop the fogs, drop 15 more stones, drop a bread ration. I gotta figure out what my new wand does. New wand, what do you do? Apparently all you do is nothing. Okay, um, let's see what else I can do. I can call imps as an option, I can also spell undead as an option, I can continue with pain dealing as an option. 
Let's send an Impet you. That, that, that's probably going to be my best bet. No, 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 no. Stone Arrow. And now Imp. And now, the moment you manage to get a hit off, I will drain you. Drain. Drain. Drain again. I like that he took a turn to hit the Imp. So I got a free drain, effectively. A free turn where he wasn't dealing damage to me, but I was dealing damage to him. I have nothing to eat, so... Resurrect. I... I... Oh, I didn't use Rip the Skeleton. That's what I meant to do. Fuck. I, I love that I even called it. I was like, this is what I need to do, and then I just didn't hit the right key. Anywho, whatever. Uh, these guys are very edible, so we'll wait for them to come to me, and then we'll just have a feast. Consumption... Oh my god, you're here again. Could have sworn we nearly killed you the last time we met. You sure you want to fight me again? Bitch. Uh, pain. She's going to be able to resist very well, so let's just stab her to death. There we go. She carries nothing branded, nothing enchanted, nothing of interest. As if to make sure that, you know, she can't really prove helpful to me in what she drops. So yes, I'm going to ignore everything here. In fact, I'm going to ditch a couple of my more useless wands. So let's see. Wand of Dig nearly depleted. Any wand which has failed. You know what? I'm going to try it on myself. This wand of Slowing. Okay, now I at least know what it was. Any wand that fails this much is a useless wand. So let's go ahead and drop that too. I can at least pick up the Wand of Lightning. I, I can potentially see that helping a little bit. Shatter that. Oh, that was a massive uh, Lee's Rapid Decon destruction. New book. I think I have almost all of these spells. I'm missing... Uh, oh, no, never mind. I'm missing some of these. I don't have a uh, Twisted Resurrection, which I suppose I could use to like make permanent abominations to bring with me, but I really don't want to go down that road because ultimately those abominations prove useless and uh, die off in droves and are a lot of effort. I, the, I hear that in the new crawl they fixed a lot of the problems with that spell in terms of quality of life and ease of use. To be honest, it's one of the few things that actually made me really want to try out the new crawl. Oh, they just seem to be self-drinking all the stuff that sits me down. Overall, though, for all I'm bitching, this floor actually went really well compared to how badly it could have gone. I have Dispel Undead, which made Josephina not a joke, but simple. Okay, I can't apparently just kill Roxanne um, with one cast or whatever. It takes more than one, and I'm getting really hungry doing it. So let's back off. Use that course, there, there's no way that I could get an edible corpse. Okay. Roxanne's down. Level 15. Definitely want to go int. Roxanne shatters. Another book. Lita's liquefaction. Not very helpful. Bolt of Magma? That actually sounds kind of neat. I might actually go with that in the end. Um, Lord knows my my skills in that casting family, Earth, are, are high enough, and my aptitude's high enough that I can bring it even better. Okay. Finish the clear. Nope, not yet. There's a Snorg. Let's kill him. I, I, I think I totally can do this. Okay, I'm a little bit less confident, but I still can kill him. Um, the key is going to be doing it just right, so I want a stone skin, and I want to have a single ally somewhere. Uh, give me an imp. I have an ally behind me too, so... I miscasted the imp. It is not worth doing again. Let us uh, disintegrate... Let's hope that the priest comes forward first, and let's just do another round of pain. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely want to do this first. Snorg died. 
without actually getting a blow off. I don't know why there's a wood golem here attacking me, but uh, I don't want to face him in melee range, so let's just instruct my summon to back off. Of course, he does not. At the very least, let me do it with my back to a teleporter so I can get away, and then just start stabbing him. And definitely want to keep that stone skin active. I'll drain him eventually, but for now, I can just stab him with my spear. Hell, let's just drain him. Oh, he's not drainable. Guess I should have expected as much. A single stone arrow should finish him. And drain the other guys instead. Okay, floor 14 is cleared, and gotta cut the video.